Hey, Life Path number eight. Welcome back to Natural Nail Tarot. These are my natural nails, and this is Tarot. It's been a little while, but I am here and I am back to do your reading. With that being said, we're going to get right into it. Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, and protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring life path number eight energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, spirit. We're going to give it one more shuffle before we start the real shuffle. You know what? I'm going to take those because spirit don't spit stuff out by mistake. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We have the waiting game, which is the two of wands. We have harmony, which is the lovers. We have rest and rejuven rejuvenate, which is the four of swords. What else, spirit? What else we have for life path number eight? All right. We have deception and envy, which is the seven of swords. Conflict and defeat, the five of swords. And um, passion ignited which is the Ace of Swords. Lots of swords and wands here, um, mostly swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have Light, which is the Sun. Okay. So... It's looking like you may have... Um, you may be in separation from somebody and you are really just um, having some, you're also having some internal conflict about this relationship or this partnership. Okay. Uh, what is the waiting game? What is the two of wands spirit? The Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So it looks like you are waiting for someone to return. Someone from your past, someone that you love, someone that you have a lot of emotions for. Um, someone that potentially broke your heart or you broke theirs. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Give me one more for Two of Wands. We have the Hierophant and the Four of Cups. So if you were the heartbreaker, then you have learned your lesson. And if they were the heartbreaker, they have learned their lesson. So it could be vice versa. It could be somebody waiting for you to return to them. Um, somebody's watching somebody with the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What's the lover's spirit? Okay, we have the four of wands. So that, that speaks to a couple or um, a marriage, a soulmate connection. It could definitely be a soulmate connection with the six of cups. We have the seven of pentacles waiting again, having to be patient. Uh, trapped in your head about this weight, about this patience, about this connection. Trap in your thoughts. What else, spirit, for the lovers? We have the two of wands again. You are really looking outward. Um, you may be questioning if you should wait for this person. Because it's probably been a long time since they came back to you. If you're feeling like this is your soulmate, it's been a long time since they've come back to you. And just you looking out and in terms of which direction to go into or towards, um, you, you might be questioning if you should be waiting for this person. What's the Four of Swords, Spirit? What's the Four of Swords? Okay, life path number eight. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. Okay, give me one more. The Six of Pentacles. Give 
you are really waiting on this. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck and everything just keep pointing towards the weight. And um, the weight is also the tower moment. You or this person not expecting to have to have to wait this long for this equal give and take. So with the lovers being here, the four of wands, the six of cups, this is in the hierophant. Because the hierophant is a, a marriage card as well, a contract. Um if this person hurt you and you're waiting for them to return, because you may have gotten some some type of downloads that this is your soulmate, which is why you're waiting for them to come back, even if they did hurt you. You may be feeling this in your intuition that this is uh, your soulmate. Either way, this is also a soulmate from a past lifetime. We have all the cards here that that speaks to that with this lovers and the six of cups, the hierophant, the four of wands. Yeah, this is a this is a soulmate from a past lifetime. Um, they may have been given to another person when we seen that three of swords, another person or thing giving more of their time to that person or thing, breadcrumbing you, um, but needing to restore balance. You may have gotten downloads that this person will come back and be right for you. What's deception and envy, spirit? What is the seven of, of swords? We have the King of Wands. So this person may have been a player. Like I said, add the third person into uh, y'all situation. We have the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this could be like a person who... Who likes to have a lot of sex, to be honest with you. A person that looks good, is very charming... If it's a he, it could be a she. She could be a player. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Three of Cups on top of... We have the Three of Pentacles. Heck yeah, this person has somebody up in... All up in y'all mix. And something was brought to your attention. Something was brought out of the dark. Yeah, and it made you uh, focus on yourself. What else for the Seven of Swords, Spirit? Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. And give me one more. The Eight of Cups. So whoever this person is that's in your energy, um, they are hurting behind the fact that you are not in their lives. Or in their life. They are hurting behind that. They are wanting to offer you love and come back and apologize with this Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're wanting to walk away from this hurt. But the the King the King of Wands could be a very egotistic king. Very prideful. Give me something else for the Seven of Swords spirit. What else for the Seven of Swords about this person? The Empress. And they see you as... They're wanting to come back to you. They see you as beautiful. Whatever, whatever they went towards... It may have looked good and wasn't good for them. You brought balance to their life. You um you fed their soul. They see you as very, very beautiful, a beautiful person. 
um, all the way around, inside and out. Strong, they see you as strong as well. But wherever they went to, it didn't end well. Okay, what's for conflict and defeat? What's the Five of Swords? Ooh, goodness. <laughs> this person, when I say they going through it, they are going through it. We have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. So you have forced this person to connect to their emotions, to face their emotions because they were moving out of, uh, they were more so moving out of the energy of passion. So you really forced them to feel. And they thought they could treat you like just a, a energy that they didn't need or that they can have multiple people around or deal with other energies. But you're not that. You're the Empress. The Empress energy. All the queens in one. And if you are a masculine energy, then this Empress just mean that you are top of the line. You know, because had the Emperor come out, it would... It would show up as a different type of energy, like a different meaning. So if this is, um, if you are the masculine and this, there's a woman who's uh, missing you or you're waiting for this person to return, they see you as like it. You are it to them. You make this person reflect and um connect to their emotions you made them feel they're having a hard time okay moving along <laughs> um okay we have the world so i was about to clarify passion ignited which is the ace of wands um the world is the ending to something and a brand new beginning, so I would not be surprised if this started over. This person really uh, took over your reading. We have the Fool. What else, Spirit, for the Ace of Wands? This is starting over, but it's going to start over with... Um... Okay, it's going to start over with uh, a, a leap of faith. Just believe it. Look, this is soulmate energy. We have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you may not have been. Um, well, we do have this hierophant here. So you could have been committed to this person and they just messed up. And if you weren't committed to this person and, and was in a situation, um, some, some way, you know, this is your soulmate. We do have a pair here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And um, they really just see you as such a beautiful person. And given the chance, they're going to treat you as such. They got a lot of love for you. No matter how it ended or what happened. Um, they didn't realize that until what they have. This is a marriage card. This is a soulmate card. This is a marriage card. This is a love offer. This person loves you. I can't make this up. They see you as, as stability, long-term stability. They're having a really hard time without you. Look, they fighting it, baby. The Seven of Wands, it's a hard fight. The Queen of Cups. This is what they want to get to. This is when they, who they want to get back to. That loving energy. But you like this. <laughs> like you, even if you know this is your soulmate, you're not going to be the first one to reach out. That's for damn sure. 
You're not going to do it. But I also don't think that you're supposed to. Let them, you know, release their ego and, and let their guard down and hold themselves accountable for their actions. Okay. Let's uh, do divine abundance. Spirit, what divine abundance do you have for life path number eight? This person is really in regret. Okay, sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. So I think, you know, like this person has taken over your reading, but this is more so for them. Like I said, they may have really been like a player and really, you know, into sex. Um, and if this is you, then, you know, own that. But um, they're having to release some things in order to make this right and and actually be a good soulmate for you be the soulmate that spirit wants them to be for you so they're they're having to sacrifice who they were for who they're becoming in order to uh be who they're going to be as an individual and alongside of you worth you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. So I feel like this is speaking to you. Um, knowing your worth and what you have, especially if y'all were um all if y'all are in some type of if y'all are separated, for you to have walked away, um, it was meant for you to do that. Knowing your worth has been important in this, even if you knew y'all were soulmates or know y'all y'all are soulmates and this will come back together. Uh, you know your worth and, and whatever was being given, if it wasn't right and you walked away because of that, that's, that's what was supposed to happen. You are worth love, not games and not um, that fake love, you know, the love that don't feel good or or the fake love that comes with someone's pride and someone's ego. You are worth some somebody who's connected to their emotions and that can express that they actually love you and how beautiful you are and, and what you provide them emotionally and how you feed their soul. But like I said, this is a past life lover. Y'all may have uh, in a past life didn't get it right and didn't end up together and didn't mend what spirit wants y'all to do together. But this lifetime is looking like it's going to happen with this world card here. All of these, a lot of these cards are screaming soulmate energy. So um, hopefully this is what it is for you. You know, like you are actually getting those downloads that this is your soulmate. Any star seed oracle spirit? Give me one more, please. Okay. So, forge don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you have. So, if you are the one who, um, who got your heart broken... And you believe this is your soulmate, stand your ground on that. No matter what other people around you think, got to say, or anything like that. If you are the one who did the heartbreaking, it is now eight. Y'all are natural leaders. Y'all y'all have a lot of the quality or the characteristics of a number one. So y'all are natural leaders. Y'all take charge. If, if, um... If somebody ain't doing it right, you're going to step in and say, you know what? Let me do it. <laughs> That's just how y'all roll. So um, you, you don't even have it in you to be a follower. So whatever you're being guided to do, do that. If you're the heartbreaker, do what it takes to change yourself, to um, mold yourself into who spirit is calling for you to be. Water your garden. 
nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So this is about really healing yourself and uh, nurturing yourself, loving on yourself. That's important in order for you to love outside of yourself or love someone else. This, this is important to do, to love yourself first. How can you love someone else without loving yourself? And I know people say it a lot, but it's very, very true. There's just no way. Okay. Um, any major arcana for life path number eight, Spirit? We have judgment at the bottom of the deck. That's really a call on looking at self. Sometimes it's it's the most high got got its eye on you. <laughs> Justice and the devil. So this speaks to whoever did the heartbreaking getting their karma, but also releasing behaviors and attachments. Um, like we said with this sacrifice, this divine abundance card, uh releasing behaviors, attachments, um, that that are not serving you that are not growing you this could be for you or the person in your energy but this is just saying that this needed to take place in order for this to come together and be what spirit needs it to be for the universe for the earth for the for society usually soulmate connections have a lot to do with contributing to society and making society better for generations to come so um, it was important for this energy, this devil energy to be, to be released, whether it be on, on your end or the person in your energy. This could have also taught you a lesson too. As I could relate, this got, could have taught you a lesson in whatever you needed to release um, from, from yourself as far as the way you were choosing people, choosing the person you wanted to be intimate with. You may have been choosing them from some sort of traumas or um, attachments or obsessions that, you know, needed to be worked out, needed to show you that you needed to love yourself. Okay, life path number eight. That is all that I have for your, <clears throat> excuse me, reading. Until next time, many blessings on your journey too. Um, I'm not an eight. But I can relate to this um, this reading. So uh, many blessings on your journey. And until next time, come again. <laughs>